Good morning, good morning, good morning, you lovely lot. It is quarter two or ten to nine, no, ten to eight. And it's back to being a school day again. Kenzie's gone to school, which I totally forgot he was going to school yesterday. He was like getting everything ready. And I said, oh, you're at school, aren't you? I'm so used to him being here with this whole year of lockdowns and what have you and learning from home that I was like, oh my God, you're going to school. I will include some clips here of how bad his back currently is. He has another appointment on Friday, a video call with a nutritionist um, to talk about how this exclusion diet is going. The arms don't look as angry, but his back is worse, if anything. His front is not as angry again, so that was bad last week and that is is improving. His back's really bad. But we're gonna keep going, um, gonna keep going. I have had to write an email to the school to tell them the current situation and to ask them to exclude him from wearing his blazer because obviously it cuts off of the sleeve and he only wears one long sleeve top at home. And that is his uh, Game Boy long sleeve top that he's got. He very re rarely wears a hoodie because he's such a hot bod anyway. Um, so he would, he chooses to wear t-shirts constantly. He wouldn't choose, apart from that one top that I've mentioned, he wouldn't choose to wear a long sleeve top. Um, so this cutting off at the sleeves I know is to do with a school blazer. Um, and it's not healed in the two and a half weeks he's been off. So I've asked them to, to exclude him from wearing it. So fingers crossed that's not a problem with school. And I've, I've sent him in with pictures of his skin on his back and stuff so that they can see how bad his skin currently is. And I've told them that we are doing something constructive, excuse me, to try and get on top of it. Speaking of constructive stuff, I need to clear up this, which you can't see because you're facing this way for a reason. There's dishes, not dinner dishes, just cups and a couple of knives and bits from, yeah and a tea bag tower and I need a cup of tea before the kids arrive. It's another gorgeous day. Um, the sun looks like it is due to be here for the next 10 days, according to my phone, so. I have a pile of loose parts that my mum has given me. Now, we have to keep an eye on these with the baby because obviously they're small bits. But that's fine. I'm here keeping an eye. I don't know what this was from. This might have been a little creation that my uh, sister Jackie was working on. Maybe. I don't know. But I know the kids are going to have fun messing around with these bits. So, I put that out today. It's starting... Today is road resurfacing day. We have a letter asking us to make sure no vehicles are left on the road. We've had the road sweeper come down very noisily at half past six this morning. And no doubt the children and myself will be stood on the front garden at some point watching the big machines put new road down because it's super exciting. I mean, for the kids, not for me. I wouldn't find that super exciting at all. Everyone has been delivered to school. And I'm going to make myself some toast, although it would appear we've only got very small amounts left. I'm going to have to get some out of the freezer and toast some frozen bread.
just for the reptiles. Toothless isn't really looking overly interested. Oh, that's Ozzy arriving. Oh, does it go in the hole? It does. Oh, I think Orion's arriving. Should we go let him in? Yeah. That's it. He starts off as eggs, doesn't it? Yeah. He starts as eggs. Oh. Yeah. You have to put this one on next. That's it. And then the tadpole hatches. Where's the tadpole? There he is. He likes to hide under the lily pads to stay safe. So push it on. And then he grows into a frog, ribbit, ribbit. Shall we see if any of these tadpoles have grown any legs yet? What do we think? Any legs growing? I think they've got tails. They've got tails, yep. I can't see any legs yet. I have to clean them out again, aren't I? Mucky, mucky things. No legs yet. Making a towel with them. Or do they go inside each other? Hmm. What have you got there, Orion? Helicopter. Oh, is your person standing on a tower, Ozzy? You make him stand up? You make his legs bend? What is this? Shall I help you with the legs? What there you go. Is this? Um, that's a reel from something. Uh-oh! Yeah, it's a reel. It had something on it. Cable, probably. Look, if you put them back in... The music starts. Piano. It is a piano. It is a piano. Yeah. Guitar. And, and it's a trumpet. It is a trumpet, yep. Yeah. And, and this. And what is this? Trombone. What is this? You're playing with the frogs, Orion. Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. What is your milk? Can you see them, Orion? Tadpoles. Was it your milk? Uh, that probably was a milk lid, yes. Look, Orion, tadpoles. Can you see them? Hop, hop, hop. Hop, hop, hop. Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. Goes. <gasps> ribbit, <gasps> ribbit, <gasps> ribbit, <gasps> ribbit. <gasps> I'm playing with the castle, Orion. Uh, out of your mouth. Well, it's too well, small well, to put in your well, mouth. Sticks that I Lolly sticks? Yeah. They're just for playing with in here. And now die. You have to use your imagination. Yeah, you put them on the top if you like. Should we straighten them up a bit? Uh oh, I knocked it over. That's it. There you are, look. I made a flower fin. You can make pictures with them. Look, Ozzy, we can put the people on boats. <laughs> oh, you have got nail varnish. That's beautiful, Finn. I need to put some nail varnish on my nails. My nails are really not looking very nice at the moment. Look, yours are so much nicer than mine. There, are, look. Building a tower. Like a ladder. Yeah. Can you build a tower? Uh, um, yes, I can. Excellent. Uh, and where, where I'm going? Well, if you put those two next to each other and then put this across. Yeah. That's it. And then you put two more on the top. That's it. One, one there and one on that one. On that one. That's it. And then put another laddery bit across. We'll put another ladder in. That's it. Balance that on. Good boy. I wonder how high you can get it. Oopsie. Maybe you need a smaller one. Maybe that green one's too big. Maybe you need another white one. There, now try. Nice steady hand. That's it. Maybe some more white ones on. Oh, what happened? Did you get it? Did you get it? Uh, I 
Hi, you're not having a snooze? No. Right, well I'll go for a wee wee and then I'll get you out. Harrison didn't fancy a nap, did you Harrison? No. No, you just lay there watching the fish for a bit, didn't you? And in the end I was like, okay, time to get up then. You've come to play with everyone else. You look like you're in a boat, Ozzy. Lunch in a boat. You like croissants, he does too. I'm just looking to see if there's any nests in here because it gets very noisy in here. Where's the nest box I put up? Where's the nest box I put up? Oh, it's there. Has it got anything in it? No, nothing in it. Got a box, Ozzy. Oh, you're putting stuff in the box. Brum, brum, brum. No. Where's it going, Orion? Brum, brum, brum. Hi. You've kind of tipped your lunch out and then put it back in again and tipped it out again, haven't you? Is that tasty? Oh, Ozzy, has your truck got stuck in the stables? Choo choo! Chook 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 chook! Here comes the dumper truck! Is he stuck? Oh! Yum 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 yum, you can't have my phone. Is that tasty? Yum 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 yum! Yum 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 yum! I can't this. <gasps> you can't finish it. That's all right. You can save it for later. <laughs> Got you. Got you. Where's your ball, Ozzy? That's it. You bat it back to Finn. Oh, nearly. That's it. Bat it back to Finn. That's it, throw it to Finn and he'll throw it back to you. That's it, Ozzy. Well done, Finn. That, that, that went hard. You ready? Way. Well done. Are you ready? Then I'll play with buggies. With the buggies? Yeah, I'll get your buggy down. Hold on. You found a bit of bamboo? Bamboo! Is Harrison trying to take your dinosaur for a walk? Yeah. Oh, that's it. Strap him in. Keep him safe. Orion, that's a lot of things you've collected. What a lot of things. I can hear noises in the conker. You can hear noises in the conker? Yeah. Can I hear noises in the conker, please? Yeah. Oh, yeah, the nut inside has shrunk. So it rattles. That was a good spot, Finn. Uh oh, everything's tipped out. Oh, quickly, rescue your water bottle. Oh dear. Yeah, I'd take your water bottle quickly while you can. That's it. <laughs> Could you have a drink? Because it doesn't look like you've drunk very much today and it is very warm. Out here sunning my very pasty white legs. Are you snot bagsy again? Ugh. There you go. Ozzy, stay there. Stop. Oz, stop. Sorry? Oh, it's lovely. See the diggers? Ooh. What is it, Oz?
stay there. Are you watching? You see the builders? Do you want any milk before you go to sleep? Milk? No. There we go. They have a little cloth. I'm going to snuggle down. You are tired. Good evening, good evening, good evening, you lovely lot. I am showered. We have eaten. Um, so several things, as you saw, we have a robin nesting. Now, earlier on, I did say to Ozzy's mum that there was a blue tit that looked like it was using the nest of a pigeon, which on reflection is a really ridiculous statement for me to have made. I heard lots of cheeping and there was this blue tit just around this nest. Um, I don't know where all the little tiny cheapy cheapy cheeps came from because I don't think the robin's egg has hatched yet. It's the only other thing that it could have come from. But blue tits don't nest openly. Blue tits go into tiny holes, don't they? So on reflection, it was a really ridiculous statement and is probably not the case. So I don't know why the blue tit was paying so much attention to that nest. Anyway, we do have a robin nest in and I just thought I'd share that with you because it's all very exciting. Um... Kenzie's teacher is, or teachers, are fine with him not wearing his blazer. So that's really, really good. Um, I don't think I've got anything tremendously exciting to share with you this evening. Uh, it's been a really good day. One, the sun's been really lovely. And two, everybody's been in a fantastic mood. It was really lovely to have Ozzy back after two weeks. Um, he didn't come in the holidays. He's been teething really, really badly. And then during the holidays, he came out in a rash and just various other things that he was just really not happy, incredibly unhappy, in fact. So mum kept him home and um, just lots of love and cuddles and what have you. And he's back on top form, but he looks like a proper little boy. I think, I think he's had his hair cut, but he's kind of gone in and up and he doesn't look so baby-like anymore. He looks like proper little boy. So it's amazing what two weeks can do when they're so little. Uh, I don't think I've got anything else to share, so I'm just gonna cut this short right now. Anyway, thanks very much for watching and I will see you all tomorrow.